What is up, Mama Llamas? Welcome back to another brand new episode of Antonia's Legacy. So Antonia woke up at the freaking crack of dawn this morning at like literally, I think five. <laughs> this girl woke up at five freaking a.m. I'm like, I can't even wake up at like eight, like dead ass. Um, but anyway, she woke up this morning and she was like, I really want to hit the gym. Um, I haven't been very active in a while. So she's um, at the, I think it's Sky Fitness, I think, in St. My Shino. I'm not really sure. I kind of forgot. Um, but she's breaking a little sweat and she's super cute. I love her um, athletic wear outfit. It's really like, I don't know. She's she's a baddie. She's an insta baddie, you know? Um, but, oh, girl, she got a fell. <coughs> but, okay. Anyways, so um, welcome back, guys. So last night was kind of, or not last night. It's actually a few days later. Um, so when we actually met Kennedy, our third cousin, if you haven't checked out the last episode, so this is a huge spoiler okay so please watch the last episode if you want to know who kennedy is um but we did get dinner with kennedy on monday night i believe um and then the next day tony had to go to work but i kind of wanted to um touch on that a little bit so their dinner was kind of interesting um they actually never got their food oh ooh, hello Knox. what's up my boy oh my gosh i think Knox is probably one of the cutest townies like i've ever seen i don't know if that's like an unpopular opinion um, but look, he's like cheering us on. I love that. Oh! Tony, you good girl? There we go. That's, oh, she just literally teleported back onto the treadmill. She was like, uh, watch me, watch me go, watch me move. Um, but anyways, I'm so sorry. Okay, so back on track, back on topic. Kennedy O'Neill, our third freaking cousin. Um, so they did, like I said, have dinner Monday night um, and they never got their food. So I just kind of pretended that they did. Um, but overall, like Antonia was pleased with their meeting. Um, she really liked likes Kennedy other than the fact um, that Kennedy kind of yelled at her a little bit and she doesn't know um, if that's because like also a little, little autonomy on autonomy on I only had it off just because of dying out because it's super buggy um, but what was I saying? So Kennedy kind of yelled at Antonia a few times, which kind of freaked her out. Not going to lie. Antonia, I want you to do, can I like have you do exercises? Okay. You're going back. Okay. never mind. Um, it looks like she's focused. Eco lifestyle. Eureka. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she likes Kennedy. Don't get me wrong. She really likes Kennedy. Kennedy is a very sweet girl. Um, but there were some vibes that she just wasn't matching with, if that makes sense. I don't know what it was, but Kennedy, like for some reason, and every five seconds she would just start yelling at Antonia um, and it kind of it was scary you know so um, but we did actually get Kennedy's uh, family information we got her parents so names crazy. and her grandparents names and like I said um, oh my gosh Antonia please stop oh my gosh I don't know why she keeps falling on her head um, but we will definitely be able to use that knowledge that we have now, that information that we have now to kind of look up some more info on the web and see um, if we can find anybody else. I mean, who knows? I'm hoping we do, but this girl's cheering us on too, Miss Edith Prego. Girl, you Prego? Oh my gosh, I hope not. Well, at least not for Antonia. Antonia, you're too young, baby girl. You're too young. But Antonia's freaking killing it. Look at her. Is she pushing the limits? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she, so, okay. So so she actively chose to push the limits. Like, I didn't make her do that. Is she like a gym rat now? I don't know. I don't really think so. It's fine. Um, I don't want her to be like too tired though today because um, we are actually getting lunch with a tag this morning um, or this afternoon. I guess, wait, which is the girl's restroom? Is it over here? Okay, yes. So let's take a shower. I don't know. She, you see, she keeps going to like exercise and stuff. I'm kind of proud of her. She's doing great. She's, she's slimming up a little bit. Bit. um but not gonna lie though she was she was she was thick she was cute <laughs> but she's cute all the time um but what was i saying okay yes so we do have lunch with tag today so if you don't know the whole situation about tag um i don't like him <laughs> i think he's an ass he's, he's literally an asshole but um antonia has chosen to forgive um his past deeds and his past words even though i wouldn't but maybe that's just me but they are gonna go and grab a bite to eat because they haven't really been on a real date so uh, yeah i think i don't know i think it's very unhealthy that antonia is kind of pushing the red flags aside um but i hope i pray to god that tag is actually um more of a decent person than i think you know what i'm saying 
Um, but I'm not sure where we're going to get lunch today, but we will see. And Tony is kind of excited. You know, she wants to work things out with Tag. Um, you know, she wants, she wants love. She wants somebody to hold her hand and to cuddle and stuff, especially because it is going to be, um, winter on this coming Sunday. So let's see. Let's look at the calendar. So, okay. Next Tuesday is the holiday sales. Um, next Friday is actually the festival of lights, which will be super, super fun. We can go, um, and kind of go see all the Christmas lights and stuff like that. I love it. I love Christmas so much. I wish it would come sooner, but um, at least we can have it in the sim. She is taking a freaking long time in the shower. I don't know why. Um, but are you seeing this? Like her, her swimming puddles are up in the air. Is that, is that right? Oh my gosh. She's, she's doing some voodoo. God damn. Who is this? Um, I want to catch her, catch her name. Ka oh, <laughs> Kalamine U Iona. Is that right? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I probably butchered the crap out of that. Um, but I gave Antonia a new outfit. Not a new makeover, but I feel like that's more realistic like for people to change up their outfits every once in a while. I don't think any of us in person wear the same outfit like every day for months. I mean, maybe like a day or two or like a week. Um, but not, not a whole freaking month or two, but she's in her robe. What is she gonna change into? Or not her robe, her towel. Okay, there we go. Um, So look at her new outfit. I gave her some boots, pretty much kept the same jeans, just a little bit darker. And then I gave her a nice cardigan with um some buttons. And I did give Tag kind of a little bit of a makeover too. Um, So he has a little bit of some scruff now on that chin. Um, Also, I totally did not know that tag was unemployed i don't think antonia knows that either so i don't think he disclosed that to her which the tea the tea is piping hot um but i did give arthur not a makeover i just gave him um a new shirt a little bit of a new wardrobe but everything else pretty much stayed the same oh and salim where's salim let's find him because i gave yeah this is salim this is salim benali i gave him a hella makeover so he's looking real fine right now i mean he was looking fine earlier but it's like I don't know. I think he, he was due for a little bit of a change. Um, so let's actually ask on a date. See, she wants to go on the treadmill again. She is crazy. But let's go ahead and ask Mr. Tag. And he's unemployed. He doesn't have work. Um, so if he says no, he has literally no excuse to cancel on us. Like, I, can't, I could not imagine what would happen if he canceled on us i would freak but antonio would be like no it's okay you know life happens <laughs> i promise antonio is not a pushover she just really wants this to work really bad um but okay where do we want to eat on this beautiful fall day let us eat mm, have i been there i'm not sure i think we've been to the breakfast club we've been to breadsticks um let us eat you know what let's go ahead and let us eat a bitch said psych <laughs> a bitch said psych let us not eat okay so um yeah we did actually go to let us eat her and tag um okay so like <laughs> for storyline purposes we're just gonna say it was closed today um but actually dine out is a buggy af and i just could not deal with it I, I i literally couldn't so instead of going to eat um at let us eat we are actually here um at one of the bars in windenburg and tag is actually right here looking up at the sky boy what you looking at probably like how can i ruin antonia's day today <laughs> no i'm just kidding i'm just Sorry, I'm just kidding. Um, but look at how cute Antonia looks in her little outerwear. You can, you can see kind of like a little peek of her hand tattoo. She is so cute. I love it. Um, but here is Mr. Tag. So actually, um, we have not been on a real date with him before. So this is pretty exciting. Um, I feel like he is sorry about um what happened and he's being really sweet to her right now so i don't know maybe um wait what what is that what are you doing what what are you doing woohoo <laughs> oh freaking way you are not woohooing right now where are you even gonna woohoo i can't believe that um but oh wait there's a little fountain right here can we like throw a toy throw a toy um let's toss a coin in here that's so cute um i wonder if she's gonna like wish for something maybe i'm not sure does she get like a moodlet from that a coin for good luck from throwing a coin in a fountain and they say money can't buy happiness <laughs> oh that's so cute actually i think antonia wants a bike i kind of want to get antonia a bike but i don't know maybe 
we can do that for like Christmas or something. Um, but look, like this has a little, um, what's it called? Don't wake the llama games. Um, we have a foosball table, a jukebox. Let's go ahead. Is there like um, music in the law already? Yeah, just a little bit. So we don't need to turn on the jukebox. There's nothing really up here. Um, so let's grab a drink. Or actually, let's get food first. Um, order food. Let's do... What do I want her to get? Actually, a pretzel is really... Or it sounds really yummy. Like a nice, soft, warm pretzel. Like ooey gooey. Like dip it in some nacho cheese. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm, I'm literally wanting to go to the mall right now and get a soft pretzel. Shit really slaps. Like on god, I love me a soft pretzel. But what is Tag doing over there? He's just... I don't know. He's just standing there kind of vibing. Um, but let's go ahead. Can we like sit down together? with tag um because one of the goals right here is to sit and talk to our date so we're gonna do that i don't know why he sat over here you freaking weirdo <laughs> oh my gosh um but okay as much as i hate tag he is a pretty cute guy um so let's brighten his day just a little bit i don't really want to talk to you marcus why are you sitting here now <laughs> oh my gosh but um yeah i do want to get to know him a little bit i don't know why he's like getting up and oh, <gasps> hook up in closet okay some mod i have in this game is like having antonia hook up with random people which i'm not feeling um and tag really isn't feeling it either but i want to sit somewhere with him and actually talk to him and get to know him how about we go um and sit outside here and kind of talk to him and, and then maybe we can get drinks later um I'm just, I'm just really not feeling the whole um uh hooking up with random strangers kind of thing you know what i mean um but he's just really uncomfortable and so like she was literally about to hook up with this guy um what's his name i totally forgot marcus yeah he literally was about to hook up with marcus flex um randomly but um we need to stop that it does look like i got a little moodlet here from one of my mods and it actually says getting bored from relationship with other sim i'm getting bored of this relationship oh man that's really interesting because i thought that antonia would want to kind of keep this going um and try to make it work with tag so that's really interesting um i'm just gonna ignore that now maybe that means something uh different <laughs> maybe like in her heart or like deep in her head she's cut oh my gosh wait he's not feeling it why bro wait why can we like um apologize to you why are you mad at us he does not want to kiss us can we like tease him a little bit um he doesn't like that either what the heck guys i am not sure what's going on um maybe we can just uh try to cheer up i'm not sure oh i know why he's depressed because i think i think him seeing marcus trying to make a move on us kind of like got him upset um and look he has like a like a <laughs> he had a freaking x around our face what is up with this guy i'm not sure this day is just not going well i just the chemistry i just don't see it like i really don't i i feel like antonio is just kind of pushing this too far she really wants to have her no antonia stop oh my gosh you're literally going to embarrass yourself like she's so bored of the relationship and she's embarrassed because of like an awkward encounter how sad is that this is just not fun i kind of just don't want to talk to him anymore this date is not going good at all like we still need to flirt with him we need to joke with him um i guess we can socialize with him a little bit more so we can at least get maybe like a copper but look he is not he doesn't like us right now um i'm really not sure why actually you know i'm guessing it's the marcus flex thing but honestly like uh, we didn't want to hook up with him he he tried to make a move on us so um everything is just all over the place but um tag he he's an interesting fellow and we don't really know a lot about him and i don't like that um and i do know he's hiding the fact that he's unemployed to antonia um so you know what else could he be hiding but hey at least now we have the gold event so like we'll get something um in the mail for that that we can sell okay um but how about we light this maybe 
um, and kind of warm ourselves up by the fire because it's actually snowing a little bit, which is amazing. Um, so let's warm ourselves a little bit, but Tag is just leaving. <laughs> what if that was a terrible date? Oh my God. Um, not sure what his deal was, but Antonio's just gonna warm up by the fire. And you know what? It's totally fine that the date is ending early. This was literally a, a crap date. She got like two bites of a pretzel, um, didn't even get a drink, but you know what? It's fine um, because tonight Antonia actually did want to plan another gathering with her book club, which is great because we haven't had one in a few days and she really wants to see Arthur and kind of let him know what happened with Kennedy because um, he was really supportive about it. But I guess we'll just say bye to um tag did he leave oh my gosh do not tell me that he left um can't start a date okay well let's end the okay no he's he's supposed to be here because the date is still going on actually i think he went to the bathroom if i'm um not mistaken yeah he's in the bathroom right now so i mean antonia's gonna be the bigger person here and she's gonna go upstairs and um kind of ask tag uh, what his deal was like if he was okay because he's acting very very weird um so let's can we do like a deep conversation or something um uh, i don't think we can because we're not close enough let's just to brighten his day a little bit i love how she went to the bathroom too she's like hey you seem a little down are you okay um and he's like yeah just some personal stuff going on um, and Antonia really wants to know, like, what's going on in his life that is making him, like, so distant from her. Um, and, and it's really weird because they've only been dating for, I'd say, a couple weeks now. Um, realistically, like, I know it's only been, like, such and such days, but, you know, I'm going, I'm going through uh, sim days, like, weeks, if that makes sense. Um, but uh, she just wants to know what his deal is, like what's going on in his personal life um, so much so that he can't even like kiss her or talk to her. Um, and he's just not really opening up that much. So she's just she's just kind of vibing. Um, she's not too worried about it, but you know, I mean, we'll see what happens. Tag, he seems like an okay guy, um, but he's just not feeling Antonia today. I don't know why. Like, I don't know why he would say yes to us um, going out on a date, but it looks like he likes our flirting now which is good um okay so that's good i think we just needed to talk to him a little bit and kind of um bring him out of his shell you know what i'm saying but let's go ahead and kiss him i hope he lets us kiss him please um kiss him and embrace him um nope okay never freaking mind and she is embarrassed all right you know what you know freaking what <laughs> um I'm mad at you, Tag. <laughs> Why are you being mean to us? Like, you, you want to be our... Or actually, we asked him to be in a relationship, so... Um, kinda... I don't want to insult him. I don't think she is the type to insult him, but he's just walking away right now from her, so that's that's kind of great, I guess. Um, but I just... I ended the day. I am not really feeling Tag right now. <laughs> like, I'm really not, and I never really do feel him, but it's like tonight especially was just crap. Um, but you know what? That's totally fine because we have more time to start a gathering. So let's gather um, at the library so we get to see Arthur and our mom and our friends. So thank the Lord Jesus because I don't think she wants to see Tag right now. <laughs> so let's go ahead and gather at a library. Yeah. Guys, you have no idea how happy Antonia is to be seeing um, Arthur right now. And they even double hugged. Like what are the freaking odds? But he is also really, really excited to see her um, and just see the smile on her face because he knows that um, she's been going through some stuff right now. She hasn't really gone um, into too much detail, but he respects that. And that's what she likes about him, you know? Um, but let's go ahead and brighten his day. And we are at the library here in, uh, what is it called? Brightchester, the university town. And it is just so gorgeous. Like, I love the vibes of it. Um, but we got our mom reading over here with our best friend, Mila. Um, but <laughs> this is just so great, you know? Um, but I don't know why she's running this way because like the door is right here. <laughs> like, girl, what you doing? She having a stroke, I swear. Um, but she's going to play some forever. No, honey, no. You got to read a book. This is a book club. Actually, I kind of did want them to like sit somewhere if I can so they can like discuss books, if you know what I'm saying. 
um but i don't know if we'll be able to do that without like autonomously having them like read books because that is the part of the club um but let's go ahead okay let's pause because we don't want arthur moving but he is so cute look at him oh my gosh he's freaking adorable he literally makes my heart swell he is so cute um but i want antonia to actually um tell arthur about the little short story that she published because she's really excited um because it's making her money which is a really cool so let's discuss um the latest books with arthur um and then let's also i saw it here too let's discuss our favorite authors like i'm my own favorite author she would say that um but arthur is just really happy um he's really proud of her like when we're talking in like realistic terms like not in really sim days um they've been friends so they met at antonia's spooky day party i believe and that was about like uh, a month or two ago um so they've been friends for quite a little bit and they've gotten so close like it's it's crazy um but this is his new outerwear and they both love scarves like i feel like they both would just share their love of scarves like oh look at my scarf it's long it's long and, and like it has patterns on it and he's like oh my gosh mine too but it's short i like shorter scarves something about longer scarves just make makes me um feel like i can't breathe i feel like <laughs> they would say like stuff like that like the weirdest conversations but what book are you reading girl what is this uh the gluten spiel hmm antonio are you trying to say something are you allergic to gluten <laughs> girl i hope not because we've been eating like fish tacos and like well i don't think that's full of like gluten but like bread and stuff like that she's been eating a lot of bread <laughs> so girl i hope you're not gluten um gluten allergic <laughs> if that makes sense um but what is he reading orbital pudding what is that about like putting the floats okay i literally need to stop but <laughs> oh my gosh okay i don't want to say anything right now um because you know she is in a relationship okay um but them reading together is just literally the cutest thing ever and i definitely feel like their friendship is gonna grow really really strong especially with all these like weird events that are going on in her life um so like her finding out who kennedy was and then she's soon gonna find out probably um some other relatives from you know kind of getting to know kennedy and her parents and her grandparents and stuff um but lots of just life-changing events happening with um tony so i think Arthur um it's just he's a really good guy he's a really good guy I like him a lot um but I do want to kind of get to know Arthur too I'm not really I don't think Antonia knows like too much about him you know they have spoken but like you know you know you know somebody for two months you can get close but like not close close you know what I'm saying um but she's hungry because she only ate like two freaking bites um of that pretzel because Tag decided to throw a hissy fit <laughs> that there I said it I said it he decided to throw a hissy fit so I'm actually wondering oh my gosh this is really pretty look at that I've never seen that before um here in Windenburg but I'm trying to look for like a um, uh, what's it called like a food vendor or something but oh my gosh like I have not seen Windenburg like this at night before with all the lights lit up that is so beautiful but um, I'm guessing there's not a vendor anywhere here. You would think there would be because, like, it's just such a large um, part of Windenburg. But I'm guessing... Oh, this isn't Windenburg. Oh, my gosh. I'm, li <laughs> I'm literally... I'm literally going insane. This is Brightchester Alley. This is Brightchester. I can't. I can't. I'm losing my freaking mind. Oh my gosh, Tag literally drained all of my all of my brain cells. That sounds so bad, but like it's true. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and say hi to our mom though, because we have not done that yet. Um, and actually, I totally forgot that we have a baby brother. I keep forgetting that, but like it happened out of nowhere. And ooh, Mama Crystal is angry. I'm not sure why she's angry, but I guess we'll find out um in, here in a few minutes but let's speed up let's speed up a little bit i want to talk to you mama uh what is she doing tony stop oh actually i didn't know there was chess here we could play chess um we got a fountain over here she's furious girl why are you furious i wonder i really i really wonder um did marco cheat stop did dad cheat on you no he would not he would never but actually now i'm kind of certain <laughs> oh no wait hold on because like i had a new mod or i just put a new mod in my game and apparently it's making people like cheat on each other <laughs> so okay they're still 
they're still married okay good <laughs> i don't i was just hoping they didn't get divorced or something uh, like out of nowhere just because i downloaded this stupid freaking mod like it's not stupid because it adds a lot to the game um but it's also like uh i don't want i don't want antonia to be hooking up with random people it's always nice to see our mom and i'm super glad she actually didn't see us at dinner last night with kennedy because that would have been super awkward um and chaotic oh my gosh girl your lipstick oh she's, she's rocking that and it matches her shirt too i love it um don't know why she's standing like directly over oh that's the librarian okay that makes more sense i was like why is she looking at um arthur so intensely i mean are we jealous oh my gosh they had a ne negative experience why is she so mad mom are you okay can you like comfort your own mother i guess arthur came here to like <laughs> support her like um miss mendez are you okay like i don't know what's Holy wrong with her um antonia has learned the following traits about arthur goofball oh that's so cute um it looks like crystal showed antonia a photo probably like i don't know like what's his name Jaden, her little brother yeah tony's like super hungry and i wish there were like food vendors around here but apparently not um but Arthur has really seemed to talk to us a lot tonight. I think he's actually wanting to write a book of his own as well, just like Antonia, um, but he kind of wants a co-writer. Um, he doesn't want to write it alone, so I think he's asking her right now if she would like to kind of co-write a, like a little short book with her or with him. Um, and she, oh my gosh, she's freaking down. That was out of nowhere. Like, well, if you could publish a short story in such like a short amount of time, I would love to work on you um, on another short story, which is amazing sake like oh my gosh she's getting so many opportunities um and of course she's gonna do it with arthur like that's it. that's insane like he's he's one of her like favorite people in the world right now <laughs> so um that's that's super awesome because he likes books like her they just have a lot in common and i like it so and she's just been dealing with tag right now and he's just not feeling it um actually let's i i want to text tag um send him a quick text and tell him good night um hope he had a good night uh and that she's sorry if she did anything wrong because she she feels like she did something wrong because he was just not wanting to kiss her or hug her or anything so she's just texting along right now she she seems happy i feel like um I feel like she doesn't know the truth about tag. I don't know what the the lie might be, um, but it's there. It's totally there because, like I said, for one, he's lying about his career. So it's like, I feel like there's something else behind closed doors. I have no idea what it is, um, but Arthur really wants to talk to us a lot. He's very talkative tonight. I guess he just read a lot of books over the weekend and wants to kind of tell the whole club about it. Um, but I, I, okay, guys, so I definitely feel like oh, Arthur. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't want to say it. Um, Arthur just became good friends with Antonia. I feel like he has a tiny little crush on her, right? <laughs> um, nothing too crazy right now, but um, I can t I definitely see it in his eyes. <laughs> yeah, I like to think he's blushing. Okay, even though he's not, he's blushing just a tiny bit. Um, but Antonia is kind of like a completely oblivious right now. Um, one because she's dating somebody else, you know, and she's not. She's not one to cheat and two she's just she 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 likes um arthur a lot as a friend right and she also thinks he's very attractive and likes who he is as a person um but she's trying to repress those feelings because like i said um she is not a cheater right so and i, I applaud that about her like she is very loyal you know what i'm saying um but right now she just sees arthur as a friend nothing more nothing less but i wonder what he's doing right now let's see um oh i guess he's starting on that book that they're gonna co-write i'm not sure what it's gonna be about they haven't really talked about that yet um but let's tell a dramatic story we're like yeah i think i think we're going to talk about kennedy we're going to talk about kennedy i really do want to see her again sometime soon um and kind of get to know her more because the only trait that we know about her is that she's mean and i don't really feel that like that encompasses her whole personality you know she's not a mean girl she was nice to us um she's just 
very loud, <laughs> very boisterous, um, and actually very judgmental of our birth parents for leaving us, which I, I don't blame her, you know, like, I would be mad at them, too. Um, but, oh, she's really tired, and it, oh my gosh, I lost track of time. It's 127. Okay, we need to go home. Um, let's hug Arthur and tell him that we need to head home. It's getting super late. Not, not really sure, um, why everybody else is here. Well, I guess it's because... Uh, I, I haven't even ended the club gathering yet, so we need to do that because people need to go home and get sleep. Um, especially our mom because she has a toddler. <laughs> she has a toddler for a child. Um, but let's go hug Arthur, tell him we had a great time, um, and kind of see if he wants to do something soon with her, you know, as friends, of course. Um, I really do think Antonia wants to go camping soon. I'm not sure. I think she's going to wait till maybe spring to go camping because it's really cold outside right now. Um, and it's about to be Christmas and it's going to snow and stuff. And I don't know. I wouldn't want to camp in the snow, you know, but oh, it looks like she's excited um, from camaraderie, from being in a club gathering. Um, what else? Deep connection from social socialization um with arthur i like this sim from relationship with other sim indeed i do she likes him a lot um in a pleasant conversation so see this is what i'm saying she's getting all all these positive moodlets from talking with arthur and connecting with him um on a deep level right and whenever she's with tag like she's always getting like embarrassed moodlets like bored moodlets <laughs> she's going to sleep on oh my gosh on the bench i love that um but it's just kind of weird and I don't, I don't know if fate is just trying to say something um because none of this was really planned um but i don't know i i kind of see something but i i kind of want to push that away right now because you know antonia is taken albeit not happily <laughs> at this moment right now but she is taken so she's kind of um just vibing with tag right now she wants to fix it but i don't know i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen it's kind of kind of up in the air right now like i said he was a douche he laid his hands on her and i don't like that and i don't think they're gonna last but antonia doesn't know that you know she's kind of clueless at the moment but i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever i post a new upload um let me know what you guys think maybe about tag about arthur um any of those relationship dynamics maybe kennedy o'neill what's gonna happen with her adoption story and DNA story we will see um, but as always don't forget to subscribe as well to become a mama llama I love you guys bye